Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, Subsection C, UCS 56. Requirements, related to, PWHT. Our flagship course, is Master Static Equipment Design, and PV Elite, and Master Welded Storage Tank, as per API 650. We have curated courses, to suit your learning needs, so do visit our learning platform, on scutoid.thinkific.com. Now, there are few requirements related to welding which is given. Okay, so PWST, first of all, you need to refer UW40. There are lots of requirements given there, okay, uh, which is related to like, you know, furnace. If my job is half inside, half outside, how I'll do it, okay? Because many times it happened that your furnace is small, but you have very big job. So how you can do that heat treatment? So you can do by you know, one, you cannot go, uh, you can do in two goes. Once you'll put the front side and then the second side. So that is possible. So now, so if you refer that UW40, you'll get lots of um, requirement related to that. Okay. So now the first requirement, your temperature of the furnace shall be lower than 425 when you insert your vessel. So that is anyway, you know, not practical to insert a vessel when the temperature is high. But still, code has provided the guideline because with too much thermal shock for the vessel, if directly you are inserting in 425, and it will be difficult also. I don't know how it will be inserted. Okay. So it has to be lower than 425. That is the first requirement, the furnace temperature less than 425 okay. some re requirement related to heating rate so once that job is in furnace you have to maintain this 222 degree celsius per hour per divided by thickness okay so this rate will depend upon the thickness so 222 degree celsius per hour divided by whatever thickness governing thickness for this post welded treatment which you have okay so that you have to calculate and your heating rate, which is in this zone, should not exceed this value. Okay. You can take, uh, you know, if you're talking about inches, you can see that heat treatment whenever we are, uh, we talk about, if you see, if you remember the requirements, it's one hour per inch. Okay. So based on that, here in all the places we have to convert the thickness so the very very right point which you have spoken about that it has to be in inches so uh, the second point is that if i have inserted my job okay now the temperature within the points which are 4.6 meter apart the points which are 4.6 meter apart that temperature variation should not be more than 140 degrees Celsius. It has to be within. How we check that? We need to maintain lots of thermocouple. So now thermal couple positioning also should depend upon this value, 4.6 meter. You need to have a thermal couple located at you know, every 4.6 meter so that you can you know that the temperature you are not violating. Right? So that is the one requirement. See this heating rate for tube to tube sheet joint. This is very uh, recently added in 21 edition. Okay, this was not there in 2019. So this is added heating rate for tube to tube sheet weld. We have to maintain less than 140 degrees Celsius per hour. If there is tube to tube sheet weld, we have to maintain the heating rate less than whatever is the thickness thickness is not taking part here you can see that so 140 degrees celsius per hour that is the heating rate that's the maximum so we have to be in lesser side we have to have our rate less than that okay so we have to slowly heat okay basically than the other jobs so he, to, here your rate becomes little lower Okay, so now during holding, so see during heating, 
when you are just heating you are in furnace and trying to reach that holding temperature that time the difference was we saw that right what was the value anybody can tell me during heating what should be the difference in temperature between two points the maximum permitted 140 great now once you have achieved that holding temperature okay now you are trying to maintain that your time you know for that holding temperature that time the temperature different should not be more than 83 okay throughout the vessel so there is stringent requirement when it comes to holding okay but it, the requirements are very relaxed if you see you know like uh, our furnace will be able to maintain the temperature between plus minus 10 plus minus 15 okay if it's very bad furnace maybe plus minus 20 the variation is not that much but then your in any jagdish uh, for any point there is no you know any extreme point the temperature difference should not be more than 83 throughout the vessel okay great so now the furnace temperature shall be controlled because if too much oxygen is present there there are chances of oxidation okay so you need to have controlled atmosphere okay so now is saying it's uh 595 plus 83 is allowed it's it's a very tricky question okay because you should not go to the next cycle so that that is the difference which code is permitting okay but then because of high temperature if you are going to 600 and at that temperature is there any loss of material strength that you need to simulate okay so if you are exceeding it to the very high value you need to be very careful so controlled atmosphere absolutely right Pravin, to avoid unnecessary corrosion oxidation so that you know, should be we need to have a controlled atmosphere now the cooling rate sim same thing uh, we apply for even cooling rate so yeah it has to be slowly cooled in the furnace first of all and then after 425 you can cool it in uh, still air so typically we even go down that because it's difficult to remove at 425 okay so cooling rate are slightly higher you can cool at little higher rate so there it was 222 here it's 280 degrees celsius so slightly higher rate we can maintain for cooling okay great so that is related to heating and cooling now what if i have done my post value treatment okay and after that i got some repair then what i'll have to do i did my post weld treatment and then i got some weld repair okay so whether i need to repeat post weld treatment so like adnan is saying local okay simulation will not help jagdish you cannot just simulate on the job there is repair so on the job you have to have something you know because now the same funda if you have added well there will again in in this residual stresses which are locked so what you will do so deepak is saying check the depth of the weld very good yes okay i'll tell you the exact point so now if simple uh if, first we'll see the what is the straightaway law and then we'll see the exemption okay now so if there is weld repairs then with our normal concept we know that we should go for weld post weld heat treatment because there is again stresses which are induced okay and then the normal hydro test should be done but there are some exception you can take this exemption but you can see the term minor weld repairs not for complete weld okay this minor weld now how that is further classified so this exemption is limited to yes it's ucs 56 f f in f there are 
one, two, three points. So minor weld repair exemption. What are those? That is applicable for P number one, group number one, two, three, and P number three only, not any other kind of material. So for these materials, PWST is not required, but don't stop here. You know, what are the condition we'll have to see? When first of all, PWST is not a service requirement, means it's the thickness is less than 32 so even it was not required for the vessel so obviously if it was not there for the vessel then we will not do it if your client has accepted okay, the now client exception will be based on something right he cannot just accept that there is weld repair and you send the proposal and he accepted He'll, he will again see the validation from code so typically that EIL accept <laughs> that is based on you know client. So shall accepted by client is very you know different a difficult term to because client will again find basis from code right. So what will be basis than the total repair depth which you are getting whatever repair you have done for P number one two three if that repair depth is less than 38 mm then we can get that exemption because we know it, it is aligned with our logic we know that less than 38 mm if you are able to maintain that preheat even pwst is not required so in this case also if build repair depth is not more than 38 you can maintain the preheat and get that exemption so now you will send the proposal if you have to send to the client back because the depth is less this is what i'm following so please accept so now they will accept you have to give the justification you have to write from where you are why you are getting that exemption so p number three if it is less than 16 mm then you'll be able to get that exemption okay but then there will be additional requirements for the qualification whatever weld repair you are doing that also has to be qualified okay so i'm also saying el people are of code <laughs> it's not see all the client can always give additional requirement than code so code is basic they cannot validate whatever is there they cannot relax they don't even want to relax okay so they can give additional requirements so based on their experience they can do that okay for in-depth training and to learn more about these courses, register with the link in the description.